Obelisk 65 FC by Geekvape. Now, Geekvape have been pretty busy with the Obelisk line. We've seen a number of different devices that have the Obelisk branding on them. Geekvape have also been pretty busy becoming official partners of Paris Saint-Germain Football Club. So, let's check this one out. The Obelisk 65 FC is a 2,200 milliamp hour device. It's actually two 1,100 mAh batteries that are crammed into here to give you that 2,200 milliamp hours, which is very, very good. Aside here, you've got a USB Type C port. Now, this is a fast charging device, which means you can charge it at 3 amps, 45 watts, and it charges in around 18 minutes. Now, most of the time, I don't have many 3 amp chargers around. I usually have a 2 amp. Still takes about half an hour to charge, which is very, very good for that size battery. At the top, you've obviously got your 510 drip tip that's removable and replaceable, and you've got this little dial here to adjust your airflow at the top. Also at the top is your fill port to fill up, and you've got four and a half mil of capacity with this pod that's magnetically in place. Now, the pod itself is quite dark, and when it's in there, it's hard to see your e-liquid level, but I like how secure it is in there, and I also like, because of that top airflow and top filling, literally no leaks. The coil is not leaking. The tiny amount of condensation from that every now and then you'll have to keep an eye on, but it's only very, very small amounts. At the front here, you have a pretty bright, clear display that, of course, is PSG themed. There's a number of nice little features in with this Obelisk 65 FC. First of all, you've got things like variable curves, temperature control, and bypass. And along with that, there's also this reverse charge option. I'm going to show you how it works. All you need is to plug your <laughs> USB Type C port in. One, two, three on the device. I don't know how well you're going to see this. I might have to zoom in. Go through to you find the OTG option. I've plugged it into my device. I'm going to press that button. And after about, I don't know, five seconds or so, it should. I'm going to fast forward this bit. There you go. It will start charging the device. Very, very good. Obviously, it's got a 2,200 mile battery, so not the largest battery to charge a phone or something like that, but definitely if you're a bit stuck and you've got a fully charged device, you can do that with this device, which I think is very, very good. Nice little touch there from Geekvape. Not much else to tell you with regards to kind of the spec with this. The actual menu system is very, very simple. Just three clicks to the fire button, you can scroll through. You can change the color of the theme as well, just kind of the background color from black to like a lighter blue and then also an even lighter blue. But apart from that, it's very, very simple. It fires up to 65 watts and round robins as well. Now, when it comes to kind of fit, fit and finish, finishing the hand, this is a very shiny device, especially the two PSG panels on the other side. Very glossy, very shiny, very fingerprinty, but this blue colour is really nice and like pearlescent. Look at that there, that's lovely. Really, really nice. Overall, I really like the feel of this device. I like the looks of it. I like the battery capacity. I like the way the pod feels. I suppose the one minor thing is that the pod's a bit dark and it's hard to see e liquid level. I've got the 0.2 ohm B series coil installed, recommended between 50 and 58 watts. I've enjoyed it at 50 watts. We're going to put the airflow all the way open. Let's give it a little bash. For me, all the way open, the airflow is a little bit too airy. Oh, there goes the fog. So I dial that down. I've enjoyed it half open. Still at 50 watts. Let's give that a little bash. 
this 0.2 eye mesh coil performs beautifully at 50 watts, just 50 watts with the airflow halfway open. Great flavor, really, really good flavor. And this isn't the first time I've enjoyed the B series coils, but for some reason, I've just really enjoyed them, especially this, this 0.2 ohm coil at 50 watts on this device. Beautiful. I suppose the one minor thing is that at 50 watts, you are using almost the maximum capacity of this device. So I've been trying out the 0.4 quite a bit. Let's try it out. The 0.4 ohm coil is recommended between 25 and 35 watts. I've got it at 35 watts. The airflow is still halfway open. Let's give it a little bash. Still solid flavor. In fact, I'm struggling to kind of notice the difference in flavor. They both perform really, really well. Both coils are a good nine out of 10 when it comes to flavor. There's a slight warmth there from that mesh coil. And at 35 watts or less, really good for battery consumption. You're limiting your battery usage, which is very, very good for this kind of device. Both B-series coils perform really, really well, but I have to be honest, I've enjoyed the point for more, mostly because of the battery saving. So my final thoughts are the Geek Vape Obelisk 65 FC Paris Saint-Germain edition. Well, let's get that bit out of the way first. This is obviously PSG themed. Geek Vape are an official sponsor of PSG and now they've come up with these themed devices. Now I know there's a lot of hoo-ha in the past about certain products that come out that have certain branding on them, maybe childish branding, uh, stuff like that. Maybe this could appeal to some kids that support Paris Saint-Germain, but I don't really see much of a problem with it. I suppose it's like anything that's branded with a football club. I mean, it, it might even do a good thing for us vapors that uh, a, a football club as well known as Paris Saint-Germain are, are sponsored by a vape company. I'm, I don't know. I don't have a problem with it. First of all, although I'm not a PSG fan by any means at all, I really like the look of this device. I think it looks really sleek and smart. It's got a real nice weight and feel to it. The glossiness, although it is a bit of a fingerprint magnet, it's it's nice. This blue, the actual paint, metallic -y, glossy finish is really, really nice. The display is nice and bright and clear, up to 65 watts. Now, the battery capacity itself is quite a decent size, but when you're using the 0.2 ohm coil, you are going to drain that battery quite quickly. I'm getting, obviously, less than a day. So I'm usually having to charge this just after lunchtime when I'm using the 0.2 ohm coil. 50 watts is quite high up on this device with that size battery. I suppose that's one thing that's kind of a negative with the 0.2 ohm coil. With the 0.4, obviously, I'm getting a day's life, no problems at all, much less wattage, much better battery life. I really only have those two nitpicks, one of them being the battery life on the 0.2 ohm coil, and the second one being that you can't see UE liquid level very well, especially, obviously, when it's on the pod. But even when it's off, it's quite a dark pod, and because of the shape of it, it's, it's kind of hard to see where your liquid level is at. But it's top fill, so if you're not sure every now and then, or you're kind of tasting thinking, oh, that, that tastes like a run out of e-liquid, you can just open it up and fill up. Top fill, absolutely spot on. With regards to the fast charging, excellent. Really, really good. Does charge really, really fast, even at a 2-amp charge. Even a 1-amp charge is not too bad, but a 2-amp or the 3-amp 45-watt charge, really, really quick. Oh, this is one of those devices that surprised me, because it's just simple, but works really, really well. I can't fault it. The B-Series cores perform great. Yeah, this is kind of one of those devices that I, surprised me because it's become a daily carry. Even with that battery life being kind of smaller than I would like, I've still thoroughly enjoyed this kit. So I hope that's helpful, folks. If it was, hit the like button or subscribe if you fancy it. We'll see my latest review up there at the top. A random one there. And a massive thanks to Geek Vape for sending this over for review. I'm Flagger Vapor. Thanks for watching.